All right, all right. I know you're all clamoring for more of my stories about the end of the world. Well, here's another fucking one. Blub, blub. There's a North Pole in my backyard. Always wanted to visit the South Pole? Well, here's the good news. The South Pole could visit you. It's Thursday, the 9th of September, 2040, and we're in for a big surprise. That's right, Thursday, 9-11-2040 has inspired a broad range of researchers and publicists to preach doom and destruction. And no wonder, in the early morning hours of this particular Thursday, a rare cosmological event will take place. All visible planets, that's Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus, will align with both the Sun and our Moon. They will be in an exact row. You won't, be, you won't be able to see much of it, since the brightness of the Sun will make the view on everything else impossible. But according to the Doomsayers, we will definitely notice something. Just picture this. There's seven huge objects in the sky, tugging at our tiny planet with all their combined gravities. And this will cause the Earth's axis to tilt, moving the middle, moving middle Africa to the North Pole and the icy Antarctic to the equator. It will be quite a disaster. Rapidly, the ice caps of the poles will melt, causing massive floods, floods and huge tsunamis all over the world. Millions will drown. Entire continents will be flooded, not to mention the faith the faith of those poor African and Latin Americans who suddenly find themselves living on one of those freezing poles. And that's just the beginning. The tidal forces of the seven heavenly bodies combined will trigger earthquakes bigger than we've ever had. Also, there'll be volcan volcanoes erupting everywhere. If you don't drown, chances are you're crushed by a collapsing building or covered in hot lava. Well, if that isn't what you call the end of the world, what the hell is? Just wait. It could get even worse. Perhaps our planet will be torn apart, some doomsayers claim, and the gravitational forces may literally rip our planet in two, cleaving it like a cabbage head. It would be an incredible mess, and with little chance of survival. Another unpleasant possibility is that our planet is pulled out of orbit and moved into a wider one. It would become so cold here on Earth, it wouldn't matter anymore if you're on the South Pole or not. Everything would freeze. Our atmosphere would be vanishing, making life on Earth impossible. The gruesome scenario of September 2040 has been laid down in detail by many publicists, among others by Richard Noon in his book Ice, The Ultimate Disaster. According to Noon, the planets haven't aligned in many, many thousands of years. Last time it happened, says Noon, it caused Noah's great flood. And as you know, a lot of people had trouble facing that flood. Oh, but it could turn out quite differently. For example, nothing at all might happen. For one thing, Noon is dead wrong in claiming that the alignment is rare. In the late 1960s, a Belgian astronomer named Jean Nias calculated that precisely the same event as the one of September 2040 took place no less than nine times since 1000 AD. For example, a seven-body alignment took place on February 5th, 1962. And as far as we know, no poles melted away that day, nor were there any earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Although Saturn and Jupiter are big planets, they're simply too far away from us to do any real harm. Their gravitational pull, even if combined, is only a tiny fraction of the gravitational pull of the Sun and the Moon ex exert on our planet. And as you know, these two objects don't kick the Earth's axis over. The only thing we do notice is the changing of the tides. And if you're still in doubt, there's this. In fact, we've been lying to you a bit. Richard Noon didn't write a book about 2040. His scenario of quandary and blight dealt with another date, the 5th of May 2000. On that day, the super alignment also took place. And as you should be able to remember, nothing really happened that day either. So, doomsday canceled? Well, let's just wait and see. You can safely assume that when 2040 comes around, there'll be some new Richard Noon around advising us to put on our scuba gear 